welcome to another episode of Daily Dead Cells, where we're going to play some Dead Cells today. Alright, in the last couple episodes we made it to the Ramparts, uh, things have ended poorly thereafter. Uh, but we're going to see how we start out today. The whip is not a bad way to start out. Actually, the whip is encouraging. Alright, so I have basically not played much today, um, so I am not only recording, but also trying to get my, uh, get myself back acclimated. So, for instance, I should have avoided all of those and only avoided a few of them, which is unfortunate. So... I think I'm going to try the sewer again today, uh, but first let's see what we can buy. Ooh, an ice grenade. That's a good way to start. Um, yep, ice grenade. Ice grenade is so OP. If it wasn't for the amount of time it takes to recharge, I would just use this on every run. Whoop, stunned. Okay. Perfect, all right. Ooh, free shoe. Uh, is this shoe gonna be any good? Uh, yeah, so I haven't used a shoe yet. The shoe causes a huge amount of knockback. Uh, in this game, if you get knocked back, um, it does a serious amount of damage if you fall. Like an irrational amount of damage. Um, and you're able to move people around. Well, I guess we're going to do promenade. Um, it's okay. We might be able to get the uh, timed room. Seven cells, what do we want to put it in? I'm interested in this bow. I would like that to start spawning. And... We don't have a great... Uh ranged weapon at this stage, so we're not gonna get that. Um, I am I am excited to get a few more weapons unlocked here in the not too distant future. Again, we have unlocked a few things, uh, but I think there's opportunity to really kick it up a notch and, and get some cool new weapons in the queue. The way we made it almost through the first boss after Ramparts was with a bow, um, so I'm thinking that is one of the better tactics for me to attempt. There we go. One second. Woohoo! Yeah, all right, cool. What do we get? Bunch of cells. Gold, gold, gold. Power up. By the way, we haven't gotten any power ups yet, which is unfortunate. Um, we're going to start with red because we're heavy red. All right, we need to. Eh, shield. Uh, we need to try and not die so that we can keep that shield. If you die. Uh, cursed? Nope. Okay, so cursed. Here's the thing about cursed. It gives you some really cool things. However, um, the most common one I've seen, I don't know if there's alternates of this, because I pretty much get the same one every single time. Um, the most common outcome is that you need to kill ten enemies, and if you get a hit one single time, you die. Um, I ain't ready for that right now. Not with this weapon set. If I had a good ranged weapon, I'd consider it. Uh, but right now, I'm pretty much just going to be throwing grenades and running. Yeah! Alright, so the sandal is kind of neat in that way. Um, it has a very OP feel to it. Until you realize that in certain levels, you're not... Alright, electric whip. Better than mine? Nope, not better than mine. 
Alright, what is this gonna be? Uh, purple, green, we're going for the health. Alright, so the sandal is great on this and on ramps um, because it allows you a lot of opportunity to cause horrific amounts of damage to enemies uh, by kicking them right. Uh, it's nothing good. By kicking them right off the side. Um, in other levels, so it's very underpowered. Uh, for example, in um, the prison level, uh, you just have walls really to work with. And it's not to say that the wall setup is bad. Because the wall setup is not necessarily bad. Okay. Uh, wall setup is not exactly bad, however. Eh. Nope. Uh, we're going to wait this out. The wall setup isn't exactly bad, but it's less powerful uh, than here where I can kick people off the edge almost all the time. All right, we're going to try and get this guy his attention. Drag him over here out of the way of the, the enemy. All right, not bad. We good. Right, what are we putting this on? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Right now, I'm so red centric. I just gotta go. I'd love the extra health. Uh. I'd love the extra health, but really at this point, I'm much better off. Ooh, what do we got? I'm much better off having a uh, balance blade. Nope. Infantry grenade. Yeah. Let's do that. I'd like that, please. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, the sandal's actually working out so well. I had my doubts. I really, really did. We gotta get rid of this guy. Come here. Woo! Okay, that was pretty close. All right. This is turning into a reasonably good run. Six cells. Okay, 27, 28 cells. Whew. Okay, so this is turning into a great run, and we're at ramps. Um, only because this is free damage, I'm gonna double back. I don't have to worry about taking any damage. Because I can heal it off as soon as I get to ramps. So we're going to go explore down here. Because we can. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. 
All right. A little bit more challenging than I was expecting. But that's okay. Ooh, what's that? Big jewel? Yeah. All right. It's turning into quite the treasure trove. 31 cells, 8,000 uh, gold. Is there something here I'm not aware of? Oh, I might need something to get past this. That's unfortunate. I can't come up with a way to get past that, so... I guess that's the end of that adventure. Um, yeah, let's go back here. Let's drink a potion really quick, because we can. Good. Alright. Ha! Ah, shop! Okay, what do we got? Throwing knife, cudgel, twin daggers. Nothing that I'm gonna I'm gonna get. I'm having a lot of success with this layout. Um alright. So ends this journey. Uh Let's go trade in our stuff and head up to ramps. Alright, ramparts has been what I've been reasonably su successful with. Uh, what I would potentially like to see is a bow. And actually, I know how I can get that bow. And we got our assault shield. Okay, bow and endless quiver. Uh, is out and in play. Now, where do we put the rest of our points? Um, we probably won't get through ramps, but if we do, wouldn't mind that. All right. Yeah. All right, it's not super fast, uh, but it's fast enough. Um, I don't need ammo. I wouldn't mind being able to heal. And I do need health. This game is just amazing. If you haven't picked it up yet, um, I'd highly recommend picking it up. Personally, my opinion is if you have a Switch, um, get a digital copy. Ordinarily, I am super pro cartridge. I love physical games, and I'm literally, as I record this, surrounded by physical games. Um, but there's something about this game that you're just gonna wanna pick up during your lunch break and put in 10 minutes. Um, this one that we're doing right here Uh, this is the type of game that you're going to put like five minutes at a time into. Um, and as such, it's super nice to be able to just take it with you. Ooh, yes. What do I get? Something good, something good. Um, better than what I have. Oh, they stack! Look at this! Ice Grenade freezes them, and this does 175% damage to a frozen enemy. Oh, that is beautiful. If I can stay alive long enough, that is going to be easy street. That is such a good combo. Yes! Alright, uh... 
I need the health, and I'd like my bow to be more powerful. Because that. Alright, um... So this is super exciting. This is a really good combo. Super good combo. Oof. That was a lot of damage, though. Oof. Gotta be more careful than that. I only have one, one sip of this potion left. we get which gives us more health oh by far this by far hmm this is a bit of a conundrum You son of a bee. There we go. Okay. Well, that unfortunately is a thing I'll have to consider if I try to do this build again. Alright. When I do get to the, uh... When I do get to the stupid shield guys, uh, they're a bit of a hassle with this build. Unfortunately, a whip would be much, much more effective. Uh, but I'm starting to see that the whip is, is a lot less viable. Just due to DPS. Of course. Because why wouldn't you be here? Okay. <laughs> I thought he was going to die there and he didn't. Oh, that's... Un that's... That was almost super unfortunate. Okay, this is where I think this build might become tricky. Misjudged. There we go. All right. Pop up. Okay, those guys are horrifying. Alright, don't know what- oh, is the exit? I hope this is the exit. Ah, oh, so good. Yeah, I could have farmed that out a little bit more, but I- I've been making so many missteps. This is an excellent run.
Not that I'm a naysayer, however, I do want to keep more gold. When I die. Potentially. I'd like to not die so horrifically. What do we got? Mutations. Uh, 75 DPS if you're near a skill. I'd like that turret thing. I want to try that. Um, <sighs> you know what? We're doing this. We're going all out. Here's my logic. I can't make use of the combo, period, on this boss. But if I can get the frost grenade out, and I can use that other grenade, and I can use my bow to inflict damage from a slight distance, assuming I execute well... We might be able to beat this guy. We might be able to get past this today. Yeah, 15 minutes is a very respectable run for today. So we're going to frost grenade him, then hit him with the regular grenade, and then lob arrows at him until the frost grenade comes back up. Comes close, comes close, comes close. Oh god, oh god. Oh god, timing. That was much less ideal than I thought it would be. Oh god! I assume that would go away. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> this was such a good idea! Nope. Oh, and it was so... It was working. It was working. Oh well. What, what killed us in that run was not getting enough scrolls. That's unfortunate. Well, this has been another Daily Dead Cells. And as we fall to the floor with a horrific splat, thank you so much for watching. Tune in tomorrow for another episode. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good night.